Hello, this is Shula, and in today's video, we will balance this redox reaction using half reaction method. But this time, we will be balancing this reaction in basic solution. So that's the difference. Um, it's very similar to the way we balance it in acidic solution, but it just involves one more extra step. But that's really the only difference. Uh, so let's start. We will follow the steps and we will put check mark once we um, are done with each step. Um, so the first step is assign oxidation states. Uh, I already did that. If you need uh, explanation on how to assign oxidation states, please um, uh, click on the link that I am attaching uh, in the description to this video and it will explain everything in this uh, link. Also, uh, you will see that I, I assigned oxidation states to each molecule that you see in this equation. So um, you'll get an explanation there. So let's start, right? Assign oxidation states, uh, that was done for us already. Uh, the second step, identify reduction and oxidation. So when reduction happens, when we gain electrons, when oxidation happens, we lose electrons. But in either case, we need to change um, in oxidation state or oxidation number. So let's see where the change occurred. If we look at chlorine, chlorine has an oxidation state of negative one here on the reactant side. On the product side, chlorine also has an oxidation state of negative one. So there was no change there. But if we look at iron, iron has an oxidation state of plus two on this side and of plus three on the other side. So oxidation state of iron increased. Uh, if you think about what oxidation means, which is loss of electrons, um, electrons are negatively charged. So if we lose electrons, we lose negative charge. If we lose negative charge, we have to become more positive or less negative, right? And that's what happened here when we went from plus two to plus three. So let's uh, look at uh, reduction here. Reduction happened here. Uh, specifically for manganese. Manganese has an oxidation number of plus seven, and it went to uh, having an oxidation number of plus two. Uh, so <clears throat> that means that there was reduction that happened or gaining of electrons. When we gain electrons, we gain negative charge. So we have to become uh, more negative or less positive, right? So that's what happened. So we um, identified the reduction in oxidation, check mark. Now we have to separate the reaction into two half reactions. So um, let's do the oxidation first. So when you do that, make sure you leave a lot of space because we will be adding things there. And I always run out of space when I do that somehow. So I'll try to add extra space. Um, okay. So that is done. So it might seem like a lot of steps, but you can see that once we start doing it, it goes fairly quickly. Uh, number four, balance atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. Here, we have one iron on this side, one iron on the other side. So irons are balanced. Uh, chlorines, we have two chlorines on this side, three chlorines on this side. So I will add HCl to balance chlorines, right? So our hydrogen is not balanced, but in this step specifically, we, we are balancing atoms other than hydrogen and oxygen. So it doesn't matter that hydrogen is not balanced. Don't worry, you can go to the next step. Um, uh, for the next one, we have potassium on this side. We don't have potassium on the other side. So let me add 
potassium chloride. And uh, uh, for again, here we have chlorine, we don't have chlorine here. So let me add HCl again. And I will add three HCLs because we have three chlorines on the other side. And I think it's um, the step is done. Again, I'm adding um, I'm adding uh, molecules that I already have on the product side or on the reactant side. And why why can I do that? Because all these different species are just hanging out in the same solution, right? So I I can just go ahead and add them if I need to balance things. Um, now, number five, balance oxygen with water. Um, on the oxidation uh, part, we don't have any oxygen, so we can skip that. Uh, for the reduction part, we have four oxygens on the reactant side. We don't have any oxygens here, so I will add four molecules of water. Why? Because each molecule of water contains one oxygen. So I need four molecules of water to make up for uh, four of them, uh, four atoms of oxygen uh, here. Done. Now balance hydrogen with H plus. Well, here I have one hydrogen, none here. So I will add H plus here. Uh, for this particular one, we have eight hydrogens on this side, right? Always multiply coefficient and the subscript together. So eight hydrogens on this side and three on this side. So I will add five hydrogens to this side. Done. Uh, and here is where, where this... Um, basic solution will be different with acidic solution. So if we were doing, if we were balancing this equation in, um, in acidic solution, we would just skip this step and continue straight here, right? For, for acidic solution. But that's not uh, what we have here. And uh, doing this in basic solution involves uh, this one uh, more step. So we have to neutralize and uh, we are adding enough OH minus or hydroxide ions uh, to neutralize whatever H plus um, ions we have. The only thing is you have to add uh, those hydroxide ions to both sides of the equation, right? So I'm neutralizing uh, H plus ion on this side, but I always, but I also have to add the same number of hydroxide ions to the other side, even though it doesn't have the um, H plus ion. Right? So that's important to remember. A lot of mistakes come from um, from this uh, point when students just forget to add H plus ions to both sides. Right? A lot of them come from from, from this part. Um, yeah, and here I'll add five OH minus here, and I'll add five OH minus here. I'm already running out of space, you see? Always happens. Okay, so this is done. Balance charges with electrons. So where do I have excess charge? Um, before I do that, I think, I will, what I will do, I will rewrite H plus and OH minus as a molecule of water. So, right, so when we have H plus ion together with hydroxide ion, they combine together, they form one neutral molecule of water. This is what I'm doing. I'm going to erase this and I'm going to write H2O instead, and I'm going to erase five H plus ions and five hydroxide ions, and I will write five molecules of water instead. If you are doing it on a piece of paper, you can just rewrite both equations um, uh, in a way that reflects those changes, but I'm just trying to save space. 
Okay. So now uh, we are balancing charges. Uh, how do we know if we have any charges? Well, we sometimes we have neutral molecules and sometimes we have charged molecules um, or ions. For example, uh, this molecule, iron 3 chloride, is neutral. Same goes for water. Here, however, we have a charged molecule, hydroxide. So we have one side that's neutral, and then we have one side that has one negative charge. So the way to balance it is to add one electron to this side, and then, hey, I have one, one minus on the one side, one minus on the other side. So that's perfect. Um, now for the other equation, we have um, five negative charges on one side and basically um, zero right, neutrality on the other side. So I will add five electrons to this side. And now we're balanced. Uh, yeah, so let's put check mark here. Multiply reactions to have the same number of electrons. Uh, well, we need to multiply both reactions sometimes or just one reaction in a way that we end up with the same number of electrons in each reaction. So how are we going to do that? Uh, the simplest thing would be to multiply uh, the first reaction by five. But then we have to remember that we need to uh, multiply everything, right? So every single coefficient, every single molecule gets multiplied by five. In chemistry, if we don't have a uh, coefficient in front of some molecule, it means it's implied that the coefficient is one and one multiplied by five is obviously five. I'm making sure to multiply everything. And I'll just copy down the other uh, reaction, right? So if you uh, are following me, you'll see that now I have um, four, sorry, five electrons in one reaction. And I have five electrons in the other reaction. And now we're going to have some fun. Now is my favorite part is coming. What's my favorite part? My favorite part is, um, yeah, so this is check mark here. Uh, cross out the same atoms, molecules, and or electrons on opposite sides of um, the reactions. So what does it mean opposite sides? Um, well, here we have reactant side, right? And here we have reactant sites. It's the same side. But reactants here, for example, and products here, those are opposite sides. So if you see the same of something on both on those opposite sides, you can cross that out. So that's why we had to multiply everything by five, right? Because now we have five electrons here, five electrons there. We can cross them out. Anything else we can cross out? Yeah, we have five molecules of water here, five molecules of water there. Anything else we can cross out? Nah, not really. All right, so let's just continue. And now we can add uh, those half reactions together, right? So first we broke this reaction into two half reactions. Now, after we did all the steps, we can actually connect them again uh, and uh, make it into one reaction again. So I have uh, five of iron to chloride and then potassium permanganate is the same. The coefficient didn't change. Um, and then what? Well, we'll have five HCLs here, three HCLs there. We are adding those sides together and we're simplifying. So together we get eight HCl, right? Eight HCl plus, plus what? Oh, wait, so we actually have five OH minus, right? 
that we can cross out. We are crossing them out too. Um, and that's it. So now we can actually go to the um, product side if we didn't forget anything. Then we get five iron three chloride plus this part plus this part, potassium chloride, plus 4H2O. Okay, so we did that together, we did that, we did that. And now is the final step, which will show us if we did everything correctly. So we have to look at the number of atoms on each side and see if they match. So we have, let's start with iron. We have five irons on this side, five on that side. Perfect. We have one potassium, one potassium, one manganese, one manganese. In terms of chlorine, five times two is 10, right? We multiply coefficient by the subscript, coefficient by the subscript, yeah. So 10 plus eight, 18 chlorines on this side, and then five times three is 15. So uh, 15 plus two plus one, 18. So 18 chlorines on both sides, that's done. Um, and then uh, what else? Uh, we have four oxygens on this side and then we have uh, four oxygens on this side, that's done. In terms of hydrogens, finally, we have eight hydrogens on this side and eight hydrogens on this side. So this is how we know if, if we did everything correctly. Um, the, the only way to really know is to check like this. So I think we solved uh, this uh, problem. We balanced this equation in basic solution. Again, if you uh, need to do it in acidic solution, you can just uh, skip uh, step number seven and I have another video that I did uh, specifically with this equation and I just balanced it in acidic solution. So you can take a look at that as well. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future content. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.